Okay, I don't have as many pictures, but hopefully I'll keep it as exciting of a conversation here for everybody. Um, so first slide, basically just explaining what a GMP or guaranteed maximum price hey, is. Hey, Adam, why don't you introduce yourself first? Am I, am I muted? No, introduce yourself. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my name is Adam Muth. I'm the project manager with the uh, Alfred Continental team. Uh, so I'll be on site 100% of the time once, uh, once construction kicks off. Uh, so back to the GMP conversation. So this is literally just a copy and paste from dictionary.com. Uh, kind of gives you a really good ex uh, explanation of what a GMP is, um, but very much so similarly to a uh, kind of a, a, you know, like a TNM style contract, um, a guaranteed uh, maximum price contract. Um, we are compensated for actual costs accrued throughout the course of construction, plus a uh, fixed, uh, fixed fee that was agreed to uh, up front. Uh, the, uh, the contractor is responsible for any cost overruns that are greater than the GMP agreement, uh, unless that GMP has been increased by formal change orders. Uh, but the biggest benefit of the GMP for the ownership team is that any, any unused dollars throughout the construction process is refunded to that ownership group at the end of the job. Um, so that is pretty much the quick and skinny of what a GMP is. Uh, from uh, just an overall bid process review, uh, we are current, or when we first started engaging contractors um, about a year ago during the SD and DD phase, it was really all in an effort to start to garner excitement for the project, start to get everybody um, anticipating this one coming down the pipeline, even though that we knew we were still a few months out. Uh, so that started back about a year ago, like I said. Uh, throughout that process, uh, the entire construction team and project team uh, kind of got our heads together and put together a rough draft of all the uh, local contractors that we knew could handle this project um, and that we would want to see on the project just from past experience. Uh, the, the GMP bid package went out to over 150 subcontractors, uh, all of which were, were reviewed and approved by the total project team throughout the process. Um, and then the last window here during the, uh, the last bullet during the bid window, um, we made all, multiple uh, outreach efforts to everybody that we solicited. Uh, again, just to make sure that everybody was looking at the package that it didn't get buried in their emails um, and making sure that we are getting as competitive pricing as possible. Uh, so the next slide here is really not for me to dig into, just kind of shows you the level of involvement during the bid window and during that bid period, which opened up the first week of January and closed on February 1st. Uh, so you can see each line is kind of either a, a touch base or a uh, package issuance to the different subcontractors that were solicited. So again, kind of shows you the level of involvement during that five week span. Uh, okay, so diversity outreach and diversity efforts. Um, so the first bullet highlights um, the team's effort to sit down and understand what the diversity outreach was gonna look like for this project specifically. Uh, during that initial kickoff meeting, which occurred roughly eight months ago, um, we decided that the goal for the project was going to be a 15% um, inclusivity um, outreach. So uh, that was established up front. That was uh, made aware very early on in the process so that we could strive to meet that goal. Um, we also decided as part of that meeting to utilize OFCC's EDGE documentation, which is a way of tracking diversity um, involvement on the project. Uh, so the two documents that we're going to be using is when we receive the bids from every subcontractor, they're required to uh, they're required to specifically detail uh, the percentage and the dollars associated with that diversity outreach uh, associated with their subcontract. Um, and then throughout the billing process each month, they are also required to submit a separate form that shows exactly how much that diverse entity is billing on a monthly basis so that we can continually track it throughout the construction process. Uh, the second bullet, so we have a very strong, um, I guess, network of, of subcontractors um, and diverse subcontractors specifically that we've worked with in the past. Uh, the team made a couple different um, outreach efforts and actually invited people to come into Alfred's office down on Dublin Road. Uh, we sat down with those uh, contractors and we also held a virtual meeting, uh, all in an effort to pre-qualify all these EDGE, MBE, WBE contractors that we knew uh, could handle this project. Um, and again, we tried to pre-qualify them up front so that there wouldn't be any issues during the bid window. Uh, and then lastly, um, bid review meetings are specifically addressing um, the percentage of diverse subcontractors. Uh, again, I mentioned that, so I'm being a little redundant, but um, again, it's kind of an ongoing conversation throughout the, throughout the entire process so far. Okay, so the GMP submission schedules, like I said, uh, the solicitation went out, I believe, on January 6th, so that first week of January. Um, we received all bids back on Wednesday the 1st, uh, so since then, we've uh, sat down, consolidated all the bids that we received, 
uh, and started putting together our strategy for how we're actually going to be reviewing these. So we started reviewing on Wednesday of last week. Uh, so far, I've done eight uh, review meetings. I have another 30 plus or minus to go in the next two and a half week span. So all of my jokes are starting to get pretty stale with all these contractors, but uh, I'm, I'm doing my best. So uh, we owe a, a GMP amendment draft to the team on March 6th. Uh, we're going to sit down with uh, UA and the Bricker team and, and make sure that we have all the details ironed out associated with that amendment. We owe our final GMP amendment on March 13th. Uh, and that's what the council will see towards the, the latter end of March. Uh, and as you can see, the first reading will be on March 20th. Uh, 